Hey guys, Codeforge here. Today I would like to show you how to configure your Java Spring Boot application using configuration bins. We'll start with creating the interface. So in our project, we right click on our main package. We select new and we will pick package. And we will create a package called service. And inside we want to create a new interface. So we right click it, select new Java class. It will be interface and we will call it vehicle service. Our interface will have three methods. First one is start engine. Second one will be move. And third will be stop engine. Our bins will implement this interface and will have two bins. First one which we'll take care of is car vehicle service. So let's create a new class. We select new Java class and it will be car vehicle service. So we want our class to implement interface. So we say implements and our interface was called vehicle service. We can see that we have an error. So this is because we have to implement methods from the interface and we can simply use our ID to generate it. Implementation of our methods will be pretty simple. So we will use the logger to put some text on the console. So in the first place, let's create the logger object, which will allow us to put the text to the console. So we say private logger with the name log, we have to import it. And we want to access the logger factory. And we want to get logger for our class, which is core vehicle service class like this. Now we want to implement body of our methods. So let's start with the start engine method. And over here we want to say starting car engine and let's put three dots at the end let's copy it and paste in the move method and over here we want to say driving away and in the last one which is stop engine we want to say stopping and turning off engine like this we have first class, which will became bin later. So now let's create another one. We select new Java class and this one will be called plain vehicle service. Now we can do exactly the same what we did before. So our class will also implement vehicle service interface. And also we have to implement body of these methods. Let's copy logger object from here to our new class. And let's change the, the class over here. Okay. So now we want to start the plane engine. So we'll say log info starting plane engine. Planes are flying, so we want to say in the move method flying away. And let's copy it. In case of stopping engine, we want to say landing because it is nice to land and turning of plane engine. Our classes are good to go. Now we want to create our configuration class. So let's in the first place create package which we will call configuration and inside let's create class app configuration. First of all, we want to make this class Spring Managed Bin and we can achieve that by using configuration annotation like this. 
Now we want to make our app configuration class to return car vehicle service bin and plane vehicle service bin. To achieve that, we have to use bin annotation on our methods. So we say bin, we'll import it from the Spring framework and our method will be public and will return type of our interface. And let's call it car vehicle service configuration like this and now our method will simply return new car vehicle service object and this is all we want to do exactly the same for our second service so we want to copy this and paste over here we'll change the returned object type to the plane vehicle service and also we have to change the name of the method so it will be plane vehicle service configuration few things to clarify first one why we are able to return plane vehicle service object or car vehicle service object when we are declaring in the method that it will return the vehicle service type and this is because we are implementing this interface in both of our classes so this is why it is possible second thing is what are those bin annotated methods such methods are returning spring managed bin like our app configuration class but on those methods we can use some additional annotations like qualifier primary or conditional on property which i will show later so by using this bin annotated method approach we are a little bit more flexible than using annotated classes now let's try to access these bins from the spring context so we want to move to our main class over here like I have shown you in the several videos, we can access the context from this run method, which is returning it. So we want to say configurable application context, which is over here. We want to name our variable context and we want to assign it. Now let's create a vehicle service variable. So we say vehicle service. This is the type and the name will be the same vehicle service. And now we want to get the bin from the context. So we want to access the context and we will say get bin. And we want to say vehicle service class. And now we can call those methods in the following sequence on our object so in the first place we want to start the engine after that we want to move and at the end we want to finish the job by stopping the engine we don't care if our application is configured to handle car vehicle or the plane vehicle we just want to make uh, this sequence happen so we want to start the engine move and stop the engine let's try to run it so we click this play button over here and we say run configuration bins application and yeah after a few seconds we got an error and this is because spring does not know which bin he should return and we can see it over here expected single matching bin but found two and the first one is car vehicle service configuration and the second one is plane vehicle service configuration we have to tell spring which bin he should return and the simplest way to do it is to point it using the primary annotation so let's say we want to return this plane configuration so when we have multiple candidates this primary annotation should indicate which bin should be taken let's go back to our main class and let's try to run it again so we hit the run button we want to stop it and run and after a few seconds we should get the text and it's here 
we can see that our plane vehicle service configuration has been taken because we are in the first place starting the plane engine then we are flying away and landing okay so let's stop it for now second easy way to get the bin which we want is to point it over here so we have to say car vehicle service this time and let's comment out this primer over here we are still using this vehicle service interface over here so we don't have to change anything more so let's run it and we should get the sequence for the car and we can see that we have the starting car engine driving away and stopping and turning off engine but what if we don't want to specify which bin we want to get so let's go back to the previous situation and let's go over here to the app configuration we can also mark methods with the qualifier annotations to distinguish our bins so we want to say add qualifier and in the parentheses quotation marks we have to provide the name of uh, the qualifier so in the case of the car vehicle it will be car vehicle service configuration like the name of the method oh i have the typo configuration like this and let's copy it let's get rid of this primary or let's let's leave it as the reference and we'll put it over here and we will change the car to the plane okay now to use the qualifier let's create one extra service so we go over here and let's name it vehicle test service now we want to inject dependency over here so we want to say auto wired we want it to be the type of vehicle service because we want it to be generic and it will be the type of the vehicle service now let's say we will have method which will be called test vehicle it will not take any arguments and it will oh let's copy it from here and uh, where it is here and we can also comment it out by the way and let's put it over here also we have to add this service annotation to our class so we can access it from the context so we go to the main class to test it out we want to create vehicle test service object with the same name and you want to access the bin from the context with the type vehicle test service and adding the class at the end and all we want to do is to call our test vehicle method right now let's run it so we click run button and after a few seconds we can see that we have same situation as before so spring does not know which bin should be injected we also have hint to mark bin as primary which we have already tested or use the qualifier we got this error because we also have to use this qualifier when we are auto wiring injecting dependencies so over here we have to add add qualifier and let's copy the name let's say this time we want to use the plane configuration so let's go over here okay now it should work so we go over here we click run button and after a few seconds we got the starting play engine flying away and landing and turning off plane engine so it works last thing i would like to cover is conditional on property annotation and to make use of it first of all we have to define a property in the application properties we will call our property vehicle dot service mode and this time we'll set it to car now we can go back to our 
configuration and over here let's get rid of these qualifiers so we want to comment it out and also this now we can use conditional on property annotations so we have to say add conditional on property parenthesis and in the first place we have to provide the name of the property and it was vehicle service mode i believe let's make sure vehicle service mode yes this is the same we want to return this bin when property is having value set to car and we don't want to match it if the property is missing so we set it to false we also want to do the same for the second bin annotated method we want to change having value to plain and we want to match it if missing so if there will be no property this bin will be returned one more thing before we test our application is to comment out this qualifier okay that's good so now we can go back to our main class we click the play button we can see that we have set the property to car and we are having start engine driving away stopping and turning off engine so this is for the car vehicle service let's change it to plane and let's run it again so now we should get the text for the plane and it's here if we comment out our property and restart we will get the plane again because of our match if missing set to true property in the conditional on property annotation and we can see that this sequence for the plane okay guys this is all i have prepared for today i just want to remind you about liking the video and subscribing to my channel and see you in the next video